Hi, Rob Green here, uh, bringing you the latest in legal tech news from around Africa and around the world um, in partnership with umbi.com, umbiie.com, and our wonderful partners at tech4law.co.za. If you haven't already, go for tech, go to tech the number four, law.co.za, and subscribe to the newsletter. Check them out. They are fantastic. They've got all the latest news from the legal tech space across Africa. And obviously, my monthly videos are really designed to give you an insight into what's happening in the legal uh, and legal tech job market across Africa, and also then looking forward and how it might change and how it might develop over the coming months. Now, obviously, we're heading into November. Uh, towards the back end of the year, but nothing is slowing down. We're seeing some uh, continued growth in legal tech jobs, depending on where they might be uh, within law firms or within actual tech firms or, uh, or a hybrid of the two. We are seeing uh, a, lot of, a little bit of increase across uh, most of the continent. Uh, we brought you the power rankings last time, and it's, uh, it's clear to say that uh, going into next year, the, the top three markets for jobs will continue to be South Africa, Nigeria, and Kenya, and they will be the ones that will see the most amount of uh, investment uh, and growth within the legal tech space, whether that's uh, legal tech suppliers uh, supplying to law firms, which means the law firms tend uh, start to have uh, their own legal tech and solutions departments, or whether it's actually within the legal tech space and more in the software space and things like that. <clears throat> so or in the house. Um, either way, we're going to see some continued growth and it's going to be uh, Kenya 3, Nigeria 2, South Africa 1 in terms of job volume. And as I've said all the time, check out umbi.com, umbiie.com or get in touch with me for more information about the salaries and the jobs that are available. Anyway, this month, I just wanted to do a quick video. We we're having a look at what's happening overseas as potentially making its way here. Uh, that might be software or solutions or ways that law firms are and legal teams are integrating technology. So I'm just going to bring you a few headlines and the clip and the clippings and the links will be below. But it's some fascinating moves. First and foremost, TechCrunch, which if you don't already subscribe, go look at TechCrunch.com. Brilliant newsletter. They released a uh, a, a press release by a company called Eve, E-V-E, -E, um, who are US-based, bringing uh, the first uh, large language models, LLMs, to the legal professional. And the way that they're billing Eve is make, let's make Eve your first AI hire in your legal department. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar, there is a YouTube video and I've put it down below. And what you'll see is it is uh, an AI tool that helps bring all of your team together, almost like an assistant um, with work allocation and things like that. Looks like an amazing tool. And I'm sure, uh, and it's, you know, I'm pretty sure by the looks of it um, that it will be something that many, many law firms and legal teams will, do, uh, will deploy. So that's that. But last uh, month, or certainly in the last two weeks, we have seen some phenomenal growth in terms of um, new products hitting the market uh, within the law space and being developed uh, for law firms and legal teams. So very quickly. We saw in the middle of October, we saw a UK-based law firm, CM Murray, launched Check Your LLP Agreement, which is a proprietary online tool to assess LLPs, Limited Liability Partnership Agreements. They're making that available for free at CM Murray. DraftWise, uh, which is a generative artificial intelligence startup, um, they've partnered with Michel de Rea, the very famous uh, UK law firm, or largely UK law firm, and, and Michel de Rea's uh, lab, um, which is MDR lab, uh, and they're going to field test all of the new software that they're developing, um, uh, including draft contract language and things like that. I mean, once we get AI to start drafting contracts for us, we really are starting to see a significant change in the way that legal services are developed and, and delivered. Then you've got EDRM, which is the Electronic Discovery Reference Model, uh, released its General Data Protection Regulation Cross-Border Discovery Guidelines. That's very interesting. There's a link below for that. On October 23rd, we saw Information and Governance Records Management Company FileTrail. They announced their expansion into Australia with their first law firm client. FileVine, case management and contract lifecycle provider. Um, 
launched a new billing solution called Time. Um, and that seems to be picking up already. They've got hundreds of clients, AI powered tool to pick up on billing discrepancies and get billing done quicker and payment quicker, which I'm sure a lot of law firms will be very pleased with. Um, and then also they had Leeds AI, which they released, which seeks to automate the legal client intake process. Very important, Leeds AI, have a look at that as well. Then we later on last week, we had Fisher Phillips, which is a law firm launching FP Solutions which is a venture that comes with solutions for human resources, including customizable documents, checklist forms, compliance toolkits, and that kind of thing, in, uh, specifically within HR, within a law firm. Then there's Gavel, the documentation automation software company. Previously used to be known as Documate, but now known as Gavel. They've released a new technology, which uh, uh, the solution aims to give users control over the source rules and outcome of all of their automated tools. So, and the list goes on. Helm 360 launched uh, Digital Eye, which is a new automated e-discovery review tool, which means that e-discovery will all be done online. Term Scout, which is a contract review startup, uh, and la launched uh, a partnership with Law Insider, um, giving the half a million Law Insider subscribers access to Term Scout's public contract database and AI-powered AI contract review tool. And the list goes on and on and on, including the University of New England in the US tying up with the Law School of Australia in partnership with their relativity uh, software e-discovery tool. So the students can be learning um, across the world on platforms and tools. Um, and the list goes on. But I wanted to end on Volta's Kluwer, which is Volta's Kluwer is a UK, uh, is a law firm um, and their legal and regulatory um, uh, division in the UK introduced its new legal services portal a module for Legisway Enterprise where um, the new portal aims to help streamline the legal intake process for businesses by capturing requests and then triaging them and delegating them to those in the team. So very similar to Eve as in the the data comes in the project comes in and then it's the, the tool then allocates it to the right people within the team. We are seeing far, phenomenal ways of improving um, the roles that, that people are doing. Um, this is going to just grow and grow and grow. And I think if you're, if you're looking at a job and you're interviewing with law firms at the moment, anywhere across Africa, one of the big questions I would be asking them is, how are you integrating AI and technology to improve our solutions to our clients? All of the links are below. Have a wonderful November. Enjoy the sunshine wherever you are. If um, if you happen to be down here uh, in South Africa, obviously well done to the South Africans for winning the Rugby World Cup the other day, which uh, they have been delighted about. Have a great month ahead and uh, and get in touch if you uh, if you need any information on the legal tech space across Africa.